In this video, we are going to create a hologram photo effect in Photoshop CS6 Extended. It will be fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chohadri from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create a hologram photo effect and it's a simple work, not so much difficult and very easy to understand and very easy to use. Okay, so we will keep things simple before we start. Let me just clear some questions asked on my channel. Uh, some people are saying that please create some logos for me etc etc. Actually, I am very much busy in these days, so please try to understand that I cannot work a lot, okay? Because uh, I, I, I have just uh, stopped my freelancing work also, I have just stopped my other personal projects and I just want to focus on my upcoming uh, date of uh, my uh, final project submission and it's pretty much uh, difficult for me and uh, I really uh, I cannot uh, afford a lot of uh, work on me so that's why uh, anyway I, even I cannot upload a regular video on my channels as you as you can see that uh, that's why and uh, this is these are the basic reasons I cannot work a lot so I always mention the name of software which I am using for uh, creating a particular project or particular photo effect so make sure that if i am using photoshop cs6 then you have to use photoshop cs6 okay and if something is not working in other versions i will always explain into my video uh, just to make sure that you guys didn't get wrong anything about any photo effect okay the 3d effect is workable only in photoshop cs6 as you can see that uh, some people are using photoshop cc so i have decided that i will create the same 3d effect for photoshop cc so you can create same uh, effect outputs uh, for both versions and uh, i know it will not work in cc but i will try i will uh, force photoshop maybe to work like same as photoshop cs6 and that's it now if you are facing problem downloading these actions there is no problem with any link of my uh, videos or, or, or uh, we can say that uh, downloadable files because i always double check what i am uploading on the internet and then i just check the link and after that i publish my post okay and i always write article just to keep things simple i always uh, make sure all the written steps uh, on my blog you can just go to the blog and check each and every step in written you can just understand what i am talking about and if you still didn't understand you just need to watch the video okay completely watch the video and you will never get any kind of error uh, that's I, I i'm really really sure about that okay now we have wasted lots of time talking about these small things and now let's jump back to our video so before we start as i always show some examples so you could be easily understand what we are going to create today so this is a simple image uh creating selection around our character after running our actions the final results are you cannot understand what is this effect really means okay let's just zoom it in the more you zoom in the more you understand what i am talking about okay so let's just zoom it a little bit more like uh, this now you can see that this image will be converted onto strips and will be as depth field inside these strips you can see that uh, these are small strips though your image is converted into small strips you can see that looks cool and amazing so uh, this is basically what we are going to create today and uh, this is the background you can use it or not it's all your choice okay this is the hologram effect and this is the overall image color collections there are lots of color options here uh, 20 color options here you can use these contrast colors you can use these uh, combined color there are lots of matte colors inside that it's uh, cool uh, when you play with this so this is the basic example you can edit everything 
as I showed you like this uh, you can just edit the top bar you can use the brightness contrast glow edges each and everything you can edit inside that so these are the photos uh, there we have the original photo here you can reveal that uh, it's your choice uh, from here just click on this change your foreground color to white select your brush tool and you will see that the original photo is here so that's the thing which we will uh, uh, edit or we can see that we will create these are some blurred particles these are some focus particles these are some clouds to make distortion into image so that's what we will create today so let's just close this one and we'll move to the next example okay we'll create selection around our character running our actions and the final results are here so this is what uh, we are going to create uh, same thing as i showed you in previous example everything is same and uh, you can just turn on the background or turn off the background it's your choice let's just zoom it in to show you what is the exactly look you can see that it looks amazing so let's just close and we will move to the next example uh, this one simple image creating selection running our actions the results are here so you can see that again it's a stripped work okay so you can see that everything is work on lines and with having depth so this is what we will create and uh, the last example running our actions after getting selection you can see that it's the highest pitch stream and uh, you can turn off things to make it look better you can turn off the uh, glow as i showed you this is the overall glow uh, this is the uh, basic focus you can see that it's your choice actually you can just play with the settings and you will get a lot more cool things inside that so these are some examples now we'll start our work so i'm going to use uh, this image uh, this motorbike it's pretty much simple and amazing so let's start our work first of all we are going to create a new document the size of the document is 2560 pixels by 1600 pixels okay the reason uh, behind you create this size is it is according to our actions instructions so it will not create any kind of error regarding to small size of photoshop okay because it's above from 1000 to 2000 pixels okay now let's just name this as uh, test okay and hit ok now our new file is created now let's just uh, drag our uh, bike into our main document just click and drag that's it now press ctrl T press shift alt and enlarge this bike like this and when you're satisfied just click on check mark now press ctrl A and click on this align center from top and from bottom okay and from the other corners now it's centerized now it's time to create another layer name this layer as brush okay uh, the name is in lowercase otherwise your action will not work so make sure that you have a lowercase name brush okay now uh, we'll press uh, control and click on this bike let's just name this layer as bike now press control and click on this bike layers uh, thumbnail icon and it will create a selection basically if you are using a jpeg image you just need to create a selection around your character so select your brush tool or oh, sorry brush layer change the foreground color to any color you can use so it's not a big deal so press alt plus backspace to fill it with any color now press control d now it's time to uh, remove some area because we don't want to uh, use this uh, earth okay so what we'll do is we'll turn on this brush layer size it down a little bit uh, for the time being we will use a lasso tool to work fastly so what we'll do is we'll simply just uh, keep the uh, click of your our mouse now we have done our basic work just turn on the opacity 200 percent and uh, just to create a background layer so how we will do this just delete the extra layers now we have two layers our bike our brush layer and our bike layer okay 
so select your bike layer and create a new layer take it under this select your adjustments panel and click on solid color if you don't see this from here just go to image adjustments and you can create a solid from here okay but you cannot uh, get a lots of options here so we we'll create a new layer which is adjustment layer so click here and click on solid color from solid color we will use uh, gray color you can use any colors okay so click on okay now press shift select bike layer and the background layer and press ctrl e now we have the background layer and the bike uh, brush layer so select the bike layer and go to layer new and background from layer now we have a locked layer with background and we have done our basic work okay the brush layer and the background layer now it's time to load our actions so if you don't see this uh, uh, icon on the right hand side just go to windows and click on actions now uh, i have already loaded this so what we will do is we'll go to this top uh, level icon and click on load actions from the load actions uh, open up your downloaded file extract that and there is a folder and inside that folder there is a file which name is hologram action so click and select and click on load as i already loaded this so i don't need to do that again so click and open the actions uh, folder and you will see that there are lots of things inside that so we'll keep things simple and easy select your hologram and it's time to play the action so we'll click on play button it will take a little time so there are there are some small options to understand so let's just play this uh, action and we will wait for the process to complete the first step okay so that there is a message here in the next step please save the file uh, with any name you will need to reopen this file shortly okay so in this step uh, just click on continue now it's time to uh, save the file so we will name this file as test uh, what test one okay so that's the name of the file we need to reopen that during this action process so we will save this file to the safe location where it looks where you can find easily so i will save this here and now the action will start beginning its work and now it's time to open it again in the next step click ok first window that pop ups in the second window please reopen the file you just saved ok so click on continue uh, don't touch anything here uh, here so click on ok now open up the file which you just have saved for this image uh, like this test one i have saved now click on open now it will take a little time to complete its work so we will wait for the process to complete its work okay so the process is complete just close the side panel and there are lots of things here so you can see that you cannot understand what is going what's going on here so we press ctrl alt and click it will close everything at once and now when you will open this it is uh, it is uh, organized very well uh, you can turn on the sides as you can see that it looks nice or you can leave this border this is the cloud distortion this is the soft zoom as a, uh, as you can see that these are some glitches uh, you can turn this off it looks nice and turn this on sorry and uh, there is the bike you can make copies of it to look like better and there are lots of things here like this uh, this bike distortion uh, this outer lines and there are some glow particles there are the glow and inside the group there will be glow particles so let's find out where is the glow particle okay so these are glow dots you can just copy these dots and you can just rotate these dots like this like this and like this okay it's your choice you can do that and uh, i hope uh, you like this effect you can use a uh, lots of colors here look at this you have the overall color options uh, you can use a uh, lots of colors here this is the original one and this is the green one looks cool and uh, it's your choice how you look uh, want to look your image and let's just zoom it in to check if it is on strips yes it's on strip and uh, i hope 
you understand what i'm talking about so i hope you like this video if you found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, all the files are given in the description bar you can free download all the files and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, if you want to help me it's just click on subscribe button you will get every single updates of my videos okay and uh, just stay safe we will meet in our next video with some amazing effect and please pray for my project and uh, we will meet in our next video never stop never depend and keep learning